Hi, Leo. Welcome. So, Leo, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So, Leo, when I was preparing for your reading and meditating on the energy, it was just a very fast-paced type of feeling. It felt like um, time was speeding up, to be quite honest with you. So you may feel like December in particular goes by like really super fast. I'm talking like the blink of an eye. <laughs> um, don't blink, you'll miss it type of feeling, which often happens, right? When we get towards the end of the year, we've got the holidays here in the U.S., um, but yeah, it's just this kind of dizzying type of vibe that I was feeling. And then I, I got the song, um, and I don't remember who sings it, but he says, You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> like a record, baby, right round. So it's that like spinning type of uh, motion that I'm feeling, or emotion possibly that you might be feeling, right? Like you're spinning in circles almost. Um, it could even feel like you're like, yeah, chasing your own tail, so to speak. It's like you're doing a lot of action, but it doesn't feel productive or you don't feel like you're getting anywhere, Leo. So let's see, uh, what cards we get out and we are going to go from there. And yeah, so first card out is the card of Taurus. Some of you may have Taurus in your birth chart. And or you might be dealing with the Taurus and or it's just simply the influencing vibes in this reading. This is talking about being practical, um, staying rooted. And interestingly enough, as I was just talking about productivity, um, it's about being productive. OK, like making the most out of your time, being steadfast. This also talks about pleasure, pleasure seeking. It's kind of like a very soft, sensual energy as well. And it also talks about loyalty. All right, so, and, and being deliberate with your choices. It's like a lot of people think that you're more productive the more things that you do, the more actions that you take, the more tasks that you get checked off equals being more productive. But honestly, if, um, if the things that you're doing aren't meaningful, right, or are not in alignment with what you're really getting at Leo, then it's kind of like you're wasting your energy or you're wasting your time, right? So they're wanting you to reprioritize meaningful activities, if that makes any sense, like things that that actually hold their weight or have value to you and try and prioritize from that vantage point. Um, Leo. And so what is of value to you? I guess that's a question to ask yourself. Um, what do you value the most and how can you prioritize that? And they're saying to be deliberate about that, okay? So you're getting the card also of independence, also the queen of swords, air energy here for some of you. And this is highlighting independence. So some of you, what's most important to you is your ability to be independent, to take care of yourself, to be deliberate with your actions, to know what you want, to go for what you want, um, to find more pleasure in your life, Leo. Find more pleasure in the moment, okay? Because the other thing that I'm getting is you're, they, I keep getting messages around being too task-oriented, but not value-oriented, like infusing more pleasure into whatever it is that you have going on, you know, finding pleasure in whatever it is that you have going on is like the ticket to enhancing satisfaction in your experience, in your life, in your relationships, etc. Um, so yeah, really interesting energy to start with. I'm going to go deeper. We're going to look at the headspace and what you may have going on there. Um, we're going to look at the heart space and what's going on in your emotions. And then we're going to look at the big spiritual picture, Leo. So let's see what we have coming through for you in the headspace for my Leos. Headspace for my Leos. Ooh, we have the Two of Cups. That song keeps playing. You spin me right now, baby, right around. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I think there's an original to that song and then there's a remix, like rap version of that song. Cause I'm hearing I'm crazy, silly, stupid. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> Maybe check that song out. You might randomly hear that song. It might randomly pop on the radio. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, okay. So there is this message too about like something being on repeat in your life, like a repetitive cycle or because um, there. Well, I'm getting images of like a record playing, right? And yet the record keeps like skipping and replaying, skipping and replaying. So it's almost like there's something that, you're failing to see and yet it keeps replaying or representing itself to you in your life. Like there's some sort of either repeated signs that you're getting here, Leo, or repeated patterns or lessons that keep coming through for you. And I feel like this is in regards to two things. One, independence, but also relationships. How can you have both independence and relationship? right? There's a fine balance there, Leo, but it can be achieved. There's some sort of repetitive cycle happening in those two areas of your life. And it could feel like a little bit of Groundhog's Day as we get closer to the end of December in particular, you know, just, um, it's kind of like a been here, done that before type of energy, but yet it's a little bit different, right? Like life does tend to be very repetitive because our our brains are very repetitive and you manifest through your thoughts. So if you're thinking about the same or similar things every single day, then life presents you same and similar things every single day. It's just a product of your thought, right? It's because thought makes manifestation. So if you're kind of tired of feeling the way you've been feeling or life playing out in a certain way and you want to break that cycle, you want to break that repetitive record, then you have to change your thoughts about it. You have to lend your mind to more open concept ideas, new ways of doing things, right? Especially us fixed signs. So I'm a fixed sign as well. Leo, you're, you know, you're a fixed sign. We tend to be creatures of habit right? We, we like what we like, and then we habitually go towards those things. But if those things are not satisfying to you anymore, then it's time to allow yourself to move out of that energy. And this would be a good New Year's resolution, I feel, for a lot of you, Leo, to kind of move away from that energy. But let's look at the cards. All right, so you have the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Hangman in the Reverse, and the Devil in Reverse. So something that's really had a hold of you, and this could have been the whatever was on repeat. Maybe it's a, a thought pattern that you have or something you continually go to in your mind. I do feel you breaking that cycle, which is really interesting because that was the channeled messages I was getting and the cards reflect it, right? It's just like, how do you go about that? Well, you've come to this reading for a reason. The way that you go about changing something you don't want is to first change your mind about it, move your thoughts around it, entertain new thoughts, Leo. Um, otherwise, you're just going to keep repeating the same shit over and over again. Excuse my language. Um, there's something from the past that is reoccurring and or has captured your attention. I feel like this is around significant relationship or relationships that you need to move forward from, okay? Um, it's like, it's okay to reminisce about the old days and it's okay to miss things that are no longer in our life. But if you do it to the detriment, or I should say, if you get fixated there, right? Then you lose out on what's happening here and now. You know what I mean? There was this uh, meme that I posted the other day, and I can't remember exactly what it said, but it said, if you continue to focus on the past, then you will forever manifest the past into your now, and your now will just become a repeated cycle. So it's like, <laughs> I'm getting, la, 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 la. sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. <laughs> it's like fresh ideas is the key, right? Like fresh thoughts about your future. Um, So the encouragement here, Leo, is to open your mind, right? 
Um, open your mind, open your heart. Okay. And this could be for like a one person. Please don't make this resonate if it doesn't, but they gave me the word blood vessels. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I don't do health readings, but like, that makes me think of like the heart muscle, the heart, which Leo, you do uh, represent the heart chakra, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to move away from that. But anyways, let's go further. Nine of cups. Seven of cups. Six of wands. Ten of pentacles. And the tower. So I feel like when the reading began, it was like the energy was moving super, super, super fast. You could also find that your mind is moving a lot. You may have trouble like quieting your mind. You know, it could just be like a racing mind even. And I myself have experienced this, especially because we have a full moon uh, in Gemini right now where it's been hard for me to quiet my mind to even meditate. Even when I go into a meditation, it's just like my thoughts are so... Um, rapid and fast that I have I've had trouble kind of moving away from that so you may also feel like um like your mind is racing or spinning you know what I mean but then as I get more into the reading and as we move forward into the energy I can feel the pace slowing down so I feel like this this energy will dissipate it will slow down as we get towards more towards January, like end of December. Um, but the timeline will vary for each of you. It's a general reading. But um, there's this hopefulness coming through here, okay? After the holiday season, I feel for a lot of you if you celebrate the holidays, so late December, there's like this hopefulness returning here. There's also a choice that needs to be made uh, maybe even around finances, Leo, it's something to look at um, as I feel like there's lots of opportunities or avenues for you to flow your finances through via what naturally you're good at. Ask yourself, what are you naturally good at? Because there's growth opportunity around that, especially in 2023. Okay. Um, there's an opportunity also to stabilize your your home life or your family life or whatever your foundation is okay at the same time I feel like there is still some changes coming through um, in the family structure and this could be all the way through Taurus season of next year which is uh, April May um, you might be experiencing some changes there um, so you have choices to make here right uh, in lots of different areas of your life, it seems. One is seems to be around something about a significant relationship where there's a past there, okay? Um, and, and possibly kind of moving away from or letting go of something that really had you tangled up in your mind in regards to that. And then there is also some choices to make here around like what you do for a living or finances and then also changes coincidentally coming through the home and family structure so it's a lot of change and a lot of change for a fixed sign isn't always super comfortable right but i feel like you'll be all right all of this is in your highest good um stay positive leo because these are positive changes that are coming through right um, it's almost like you kind of knew what direction you wanted to go in, in 2022, but you didn't really know how to get there. And so that's why that message was, well, the key to getting there first and foremost is to open your mind about new possibilities and, um, 
try and move away from some of the habitual thoughts and things that you do that no longer serve you. You know what I mean? Like, um, we, we get into, we're creatures of routine as well. And they're, they're also highlighting your routine. There's something that you can incorporate or change about your routine, like something really small that would make a very big difference. I don't know if that is something you've been contemplating as well. It could be as simple as like the way you take to work or, you know, your morning schedule, incorporating, um, okay, so I'm being encouraged. I'm going to give you an example of, and this is just an example, right? I was, I was stuck like in a little bit of a rut when it came to like my work. This is years, years, years ago. And I'm a fixed sign as well. And I knew that I wanted some sort of change, but I, I, what, I was happy with where I was at. So I wasn't like trying to change my job or anything crazy like that. I just like felt a little meh. Um, and there, what I did was I changed the route I took to work. So every day for years and years and years and years, I took the same route, which was the fastest route, which was the highway, which wasn't the prettiest route, but it got me there fast. You know what I mean? But there was another route I could take that would take me through downtown. It was really beautiful. There was a nice coffee shop that I liked on the way, but it made my trip about 10 minutes longer. And I don't know, just one day I decided I'm just going to leave 10 minutes earlier because I want to enjoy my ride to work. <laughs> and so I started taking the alternate route, which was a much more scenic, like enjoyable route. And I'm telling you that like a really small change, like literally lifted my mood, literally put me in a higher vibration, which started my day off in a better feeling place which eventually led to further success because you manifest through your mind and your mood. If your mind is satisfied, you give off satisfying vibrations out to the universe and the universe matches that satisfaction and brings about satisfying outcomes. It sounds so stupid, right? But it's, it's really as simple as that. And lo and behold, that tiny little change actually made a huge impact because what it did is it brought me a sense of satisfaction. And then that came back to me via law of attraction in many different ways. Um, and all I was trying to do was make my commute nicer, you know, <laughs> it's just really, really simple things. So they're saying like, you know, some of you have been racking your brain thinking you might need these big changes and you might need to take all these actions. And they're saying that won't be productive. That won't be productive. What would be productive is to do very simple, small things that bring you satisfaction. And the big things will take care of themselves. Yeah, literally. I don't know why I'm talking to you like this, but this is how the message is coming out. You know what I mean? <laughs> So let's go further here, Leo, and see what else we have. And you know what's funny? I, I, I want to tell the rest of the story. So I was trying to um, find more satisfaction on my commute, but I also didn't really care for my that my commute was so long. But when I started doing the scenic route, what I would do is I would stop, I would get coffee, I would drive through downtown, I would appreciate the trees, I would listen to like um, meditation music or like Abraham Hicks, like spiritual podcast on my way to work. And I made the car ride enjoyable. Well, I, because I felt satisfied when I got to work, I did a really good job at work every day because I was satisfied, right? Well, eventually that led to no commute. I got sent to work from home because my performance was great. <laughs> so you see the universe heard a desire. My desire was not to have a long commute, but if I would have kept going that same highway route and being mad about it and like, God, I hate this and F traffic and what, you know, you know, we get stuck in those ruts where we just hate everything. If I would have done that, I would have continued to show up at work in a bad mood, done an okay job and nothing would have changed. See, this is why I'm telling you simple things. But because I made that really simple change, which made my commute more pleasurable, which put me in a better mood, which made me want to perform better, it resulted in me getting a wish granted. No commute. Zero. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know why I keep going into this story, but I really feel 
obviously I'm guided to talk about it because it's relevant to you. Because a lot of people think, you know, that they've got to come up with some big harebrained idea or take some sort of big action or big change to get what they want. And you don't. You don't. You just find satisfaction. Find satisfaction. Find satisfaction in wherever you're at in life, right here, right now. And the universe will conspire to bring you about a significant improvement without you doing much other than enjoying the ride. You know what I mean? Woo! Okay. I Was that a misfire? I can't take all of that. No. <laughs> Let me try. Anyways, let's go into the bigger spiritual picture. So enough of that. But um, I hope that made sense to you, you know. Anyways, three of swords, eight of cups. What else? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, um, Leo, here's an opportunity to resolve and or walk away from something that really hurts you from the past or a person that really hurt you in the past. Here's an opportunity for you to plant your seeds and reach for more. Different new independence to find your satisfaction and in so by making like really 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 small changes you bring about big 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 changes and this is going to last between that well i feel like december is a little bit dizzying not a whole lot of productivity going on but as january comes in and it slows down i feel like this is going to go all the way through tourist season okay um where you're going to have opportunities to walk away from things that you've healed from, Leo, or that you are moving on from, okay, or, or people that you are moving on from, right, and establishing more satisfying experiences in your life, and not taking no shit either, you know, so also, if you feel that you've been walked over, Leo, this is a time for you to establish your boundaries and establish your worth, and there is movement forward here in a big and beautiful way. So I love this. Let's see what the guidance is from the Law of Attraction cards. Whoa. Let's see. It says the secret of creating anything desired is to get happy which is literally what I was just talking about. It says, as you practice happy thoughts, you practice your connection. From your place of being happy, you will have access to all that you desire. This says, I chose to be here in this glorious physical body. To be me was my choice. <clears throat> you chose the opportunity to experience the delicious contrast, to co-create with other joyous beings, to fine tune the process of deliberate thought. You are here with a purpose. And it is not my work to control others. Trying to limit or control anybody about anything will defy the law of the universe. It cannot be done. You cannot control others, but you can control and create your own reality and make it a satisfying, happy one, Leo. Wow. Beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs that you could be connecting with or have in your own chart. I've got Gemini, I've got Taurus, I've got Capricorn, um, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra energy. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It is a general reading. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for um, more fun stuff as I do have videos and content over there. Tarot Time with Dana. All of it linked in the description box below as well as in the About section of my YouTube where you will find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best. And until next time, my friends. Namaste. Bye.